guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be talking about how to use the song closet key in your elementary music lessons so i don't think i really need to tell you anything let's get started there's quite a few songs that i feel like people talk about a lot and maybe they don't explain them fully or they talk about them so much that then i don't want them to do them because i'm one of those people who wants to do like obscure weird songs but you know i i need to come to the conclusion that like things are popular for a reason because this one is so much fun and my kids loved it so here we are i have been using this song with fifth grade this song is a mi re do song it is just um quarter and eighth notes i believe and it's, it's fairly simple but i have been using it with my fifth graders because we have been trying to learn piano but we haven't learned treble clef because we like miss you know two years of instruction due to covid and so it's just been a hot mess so i've been trying to get them on the keyboards and playing even though they can't read music very well um and this was one of my solutions and it was a hit quick little note about this lesson if you want to make it really easy on yourself you can get my lesson pack on tpt this includes google slides presentations that goes through how to teach everything you can teach me ray do you can talk about the staff you can talk about crescendo decrescendos, piano, forte, all that good stuff, as well as things like this hook that I'm going to talk about in a moment. It includes an editable lesson plan, sheet music, game directions, and some printables that you're going to want. So I will link that down below. Check it out and let's get back to the video. Now, how I introduced this song is I put up some pictures, just like Google Slides pictures, of gardens and I put like a little clip art key somewhere in the garden and I'm like, okay, here's a picture. Somewhere in this garden, I have hidden a key. When you see it, give me a thumbs up. And so I give them like 30 seconds to a minute to kind of look until some people find it. And then I'll have someone go and like point to where it is on the board. And I have three of those just like quick little introduction to kind of get them hooked in. After that, I'm like, great, we're gonna learn a new song this week. It is about losing a key in a garden. So it's perfect. Take your hands and match me. And we're gonna use body solfege ladders in order to do this. So this song goes, And then I'll ask them a couple questions. So I'll be like, okay, um, how many things did I touch? And they're like, three. I'm like, great. And then we'll sing it again. Okay, what was the highest thing I touched? Oh, your head. What was the lowest thing I touched? Oh, your legs. Oh, what was the thing in the middle? Oh, your shoulders. Great. We'll sing it again. Okay, how many times did I touch my shoulders? And usually I'll have to sing that again before they can answer. The answer is two um, at the end of each line. I'm like, great. And then I'll pop it up on the screen on the notation, even though we haven't learned the staff. And I'm like, great. This is a staff. It's kind of like a map. When things go up the top, do you think they're gonna sound high or low? And they're like, oh, high. And I'm like, great. When they're down at the bottom, are they gonna sound high or low? And they're like, oh, low. And I'm like, yeah, great. So when they're up, they're gonna be high. When they're down, they're gonna be low. It's also gonna show you if things are going up or down. It's just like a map. It's very easy to read. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. And that's as far as we're getting so far. And we'll add more later, but this is just where I wanted them to start. I'm like, great. And so then I'll sing it and have them trace the letter. So they just point to the board and point to what's happening. And then I'll ask them, what part is different from the first line to the second line? And the answer is the first time it goes garden and it goes up. The second time it goes ladies garden and it goes down. All of that to say, then we play the game. So the game closet key is really, really fun. One person is the hider, one person is the finder. The finder goes and closes their eyes so they can't see anything. And the hider hides a key around the room. I've been using an orange, you like, ruler because I didn't have a key that I didn't want them to lose. So I've been using a ruler that they can, you know, stick wherever. I always tell them to leave like an inch sticking out so that you can actually see it because otherwise you'll be there forever. Um, and so they hide it, they come back and sit down and then the finder comes out and they have to find the key. The group is helping them by singing Forte when they're close and piano when they're far away so you can also use this to work on dynamics i didn't do that this time although we did you know do that but we didn't like focus on it and you can talk about crescendo decrescendo that kind of stuff um all that to say <laughs> um the so they walk all around till they find the key and we're helping them by singing loudly and softly it's so much fun so much fun i will mention i've done it i did it actually with the same group twice and the second time we did a two minute timer so you only had two minutes to find it and that was really really helpful because sometimes it just takes forever and you're just like we're gonna die here so that was really nice i would just hit the timer on just like on youtube 
put on a timer hit the start and then if they didn't find it by the time the timer ended then their turn was over and we would just show them where it was so that was a nice like easier way to do it so you don't get too exhausted you will by the way also have to mention like we're singing loudly but we're not screaming after we play the game i like to play the game because it really gets it in their heads of like they really 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 get the melody in their heads then on usually a separate day i'll have them go to the xylophones and so i give them a piece of paper that just has the rhythm and then the letters underneath if your kids are already reading on the treble clef i would totally put on the treble clef but because mine aren't this is what we're doing and so i just give them the piece of paper and they go and figure out how to play the song on the xylophones i like to start on the xylophones because they have letters so it's really easy to find and i've been doing this in groups because one i don't have enough xylophones and two it's really helpful because the kids will help the, each other and i let them just pick their groups like groups of two or three and they i give them about i don't know seven minutes maybe to figure it out and then at the end we'll all play it together so i'll go to my big xylophone and i'll be like all right whoever's gonna start put your mallet on this note and then we'll all you know do it at the same time and we'll do it a couple of times so that everybody gets a chance to play even though i don't have enough xylophones for everybody then what i have been doing is since i am trying to get my kids on the pianos as soon as possible even if they don't know all of the things i just want them to play things and i want them to kind of understand it i'm like great now you and your partner go to the pianos and see if you can figure it out and we review a couple things like okay we touched three things we used three bars on the xylophone so how many keys are we going to use and they're like three i'm like great and i will tell them like this is you know it's these letters the same as on the xylophone but usually they'll go over it and they'll just pick like three random ones and they'll work for a while and after three or four minutes they'll figure out the pattern so they'll figure out you know it's do do me me do do me and they'll figure that out even if they're not on the right keys okay um or sometimes they'll be like all in opposite ends of the keyboard but they got the right pattern they have the right idea and so then i'll just come over after i see that they've kind of got it and i'll be like great can you use these three notes and they're like yeah sure and so then they'll figure it out on the actual correct letters um then after that we'll do the same thing where we'll all play together a couple of times so that they can get that and they have been doing a really good job with that and it's a really easy thing to do because there's not a ton of letters that they have to remember they've already done it on the xylophone they've already talked about it they've already looked at it so like they understand the con so they understand the melody and everything and it's been working actually very very well and it's nice to kind of like break up so sometimes we have like intense like let's find the notes and sometimes we have like um where we'll play along with pop songs and this is like a nice kind of median where like you're working on your own you're figuring things out but you're also getting some of that like note work in and figuring things out and kind of figuring out how things sound different if you don't have keyboards you can totally do that with like any other instrument that you do have in your classroom or you know you can just keep it on the xylophones and that's fine too i like to end this by having the kids create their own three note song so i tell them to pick three letters hopefully that are next to each other whatever them they want and then write the letters underneath if you're there already on the staff you can have them do it that way um and write those create those and then learn how to play their own song as well and then i've been letting them use my piano to like perform it once they get theirs figured out and that has been a really huge hit so that's a plus they've been loving that it's been a great time i hope this video was helpful whether or not you have pianos i hope you enjoyed the song i would love to know if you use this song how you use this song let me know down below in the comments and i will see you guys next time thank you bye